Dr. Theodore Roosevelt Aranda, or affectionately known as Dr. Ted, wore many hats throughout his life. He was a politician, humanitarian, and a Garifuna activist. He embarked on his political journey in 1974 when he joined the newly formed United Democratic Party, UDP. In 1979, he was one of the five representatives elected for the UDP. He was victorious in his run for the position as party leader. However, there was discord within the party because people felt that since he was a newcomer, it should have gone to one of the doyen of politics at the time. Dr. Aranda's wife, Cecilia, says that he was keen on fighting for the development of Belize, particularly in his constituency, Dangriga. He was a person who got in trouble with his political allies because he didn't care what your political affiliation was. As long as you were a Belizean, he was going to be of assistance to you. He fought for Belize. They say that they removed him. They did not remove my husband. Yeah. My husband walked away from the UDPs. Mm. Okay? He walked away from them. He did not, they did not remove him. Mm. Okay? And that was when he formed his own party, the Christian Democratic Party. The Christian Democratic Party was short-lived and was unsuccessful in the 1984 general elections. After this defeat, Dr. Aranda joined the country's other political giant, the People's United Party, PUP. In 1989, Dr. Aranda was re-elected for his Dangriga seat and was able to contribute to the improvement of the town's drainage system that now mitigates flooding in the area. He also had a hand in the upgrade of the bridge that now sits over the North Stan Creek River. According to Cecilia, Dr. Aranda was able to acquire several acres of land that were used to provide housing for residents and to construct a monument that he envisioned would become a touristic attraction. He also pushed the area now that is called Wagaira Lay and again gave people land to build houses. Named that monument site Chilhadwa Garinab, which means we Garinago have arrived. Mm -hmm. Dr. Aranda had um, acquired 26 acres of land to build that monument. The tower that is there represents a, a Gideon, which was a galleon, sorry, which was a um, representation of the ships that in which our people were um, ex our people were put on when they were expelled from St. Vincent. On the national scale, Dr. Aranda contributed significantly to the improvement of Belize's health services under the PUP. He was instrumental in the construction of the country's national referral hospital and successfully lobbied for the establishment of a hospital in Dangriga. He fought for a state-of-the-art hospital for Dangriga, mm -hmm. which he got. He um, improved the health system when he was a Minister of Health. He renovated most of the hospitals here in Belize. Uh, he was responsible for the regionalization of the hospitals. As a matter of fact, Karl Huchner uh, was built under his um, Ministry of Health um, service. Dr. Aranda had become a bona fide politician by the early 2000s, but to his family, he was more than just a dignitary. Dr. Aranda's son, Derek, says during his childhood, he often felt his father's absence. However, as he grew older, he understood that it was for the betterment of society. Dr. Aranda formed the World Garifuna Organization, geared at unifying all Garifuna peoples across the world. He really believed in what could be accomplished in Belize, particularly in southern Belize and for and by the Garinago of Belize. The Garifuna World Organization was um, organized by Dr. Aranda and it was to bring all Garinago all over the world together. Whether you are a Garifuna in Belize, Honduras, Guatemala, Nicaragua and the United States, he wanted to bring everybody together so that as a group of Garinago we were to fight for our rights in our respective countries. Dr. Aranda took his last breath at 6.25 in the morning on Sunday, July 11. Reporting for Love News, Giovanna Mogel.